and welcome to another day on Cornwall Pocket Farm where I try and figure out how to live more sustainably on 300 square meters in the city. What I've been doing recently in anticipation of making some new winter clothes uh, in my new uh, winter wardrobe series, I need to clear out some space in my wardrobe to put the new clothes in. I don't have a very big wardrobe. In fact, when we designed this house, we designed all of the spaces with sort of minimal storage, to be honest, and that storage was open so that we could see pretty much everything that we own. And that we did that on purpose because if you have cupboards and places that you can stash bunches of stuff and you put it in there and then you never look at it again, you're just holding on to all this stuff that you don't ever use. So I have the wardrobe space that I have and obviously I manage my clothing to fit into that wardrobe. I don't need any more clothes than will I can hold in my wardrobe system, my drawers and my hanging and those types of things. When it starts to get a bit full or I find that I'm not wearing some of the things and they're being pushed to the sides or the bottom, I know that those things have to come out and maybe I need to replace them with things that I'm going to wear more often. Okay, so this is my wardrobe. As you can see, I have sort of shirts and top hanging there. I have dresses and things through here. And then I have some long hanging down there. And then over here is where I have skirts and trousers and things like that. Uh, and then in that uh, set of drawers, I have scarves in the top, underwear and bits and bobs, and then hair dryer in the bottom. And a little space at the bottom for my uh, woolly winter Ugg boots. Apart from that, I just have this bit over to the side. So we have this cabinet here. On the top, I've got a few vintage uh, uh, suitcase. That up there is my actual school satchel from so many years ago. But this cabinet is mirrored. So basically, this side is my husband's and this side is mine. So in the top part, this um, is all hats at the top. And then I have handbags in there. Then I have three drawers, which is for jumpers. And then in that little cabinet down there is where I keep my shoes. If I want to bring something else into my wardrobe, I generally will take something out because I don't want it to be overstacked. Over here, you can see these are my things that I took to France. Uh, that's my winter coat there. Some addresses and things through here. That's uh, my Catherine coat, which I made for the trip. And then at the side, I have my very, very fancy sort of opera coat. <laughs> so I don't hold on to things that I don't like or that don't fit, really. I prefer to replace them with things that I do like and things that do fit. So I'm constantly going through a process of reviewing what I have, whether I need it, whether I use it, and whether that space could be used better by something else. Now, I know that I need more winter clothes. I have very few winter clothes and I need to get some new wearable items in there. So I have to take some stuff out. And I know that I have a few things in my wardrobe that are from times when I was um, working in an office, from times when uh, maybe I was a bit smaller than I am now, things like that, things that I bought before I went through the process that I've shared with you on my tips and tricks videos, where I really started to understand my my shape, my lines, my proportions, the things that suited me, the, the style, the color, all of those types of things. And now I know that I can see why these things aren't working. And I think that's a really important point. When you take things out of your wardrobe because you're not wearing them, rather than just going, oh, look, I don't wear this. I don't really like it very much try and analyze why you don't like it, why you don't wear it. And so that's what I've done with these clothes. And I thought it would be really helpful to show you what I've taken out of my wardrobe and why I've taken them out. And hopefully that will give you a little bit of um, insight and maybe you could look at your own clothes and think, why aren't I wearing that? And, and sort of analyze it essentially so that you can, the idea is to next time you bring something into your wardrobe, you don't repeat those same mistakes because you know they're things that aren't going to work for you. Anyway, let's go through, through the things that I'm taking out of my wardrobe and I'll walk you through uh, yeah, why they're not working for me. The first item is this shirt. It's just, it's just a white shirt. It's just a white shirt. It's got a nice collar, but the problems with it are 
it's a bit see-through. I don't know if you can see on camera just how see-through it is. You can see everything that's underneath. It doesn't work very well for me because of that. It's also quite a boxy shape which is too wide for me to, to wear out because it makes my, my sort of petite upper half sort of shapeless and boxy and of course that then goes down to my wider hips and then I just look like a, a wide short person which is not the look I'm going for. So it's wide and it's also quite short so it doesn't tuck into anything very well. If I tuck in it is always pulling out of my waistbands. So for that reason it doesn't work for me on multiple levels. So there's another white shirt that I'm taking as well. This white shirt was really cool and I wore it to the office sometimes but it is it is quite a statement piece to be honest. It's very wide, it's a beautiful linen, it is quite see-through again. I like the neckline but it's very wide and I really quite like the blues on sort of three-quarter sleeves, they're quite flattering but it's just too big and it just makes, it is actually a big size, I think, I'm not quite sure of the size on this, I think it is a much bigger size than me, if I can find the label I'll have a little look. Yeah, so it's an extra large, so when I bought it, I bought it particularly to be oversized. The brand of it is uh, Wiki, W-I-X-I-I, -I. so the brand is Wiki, it's oversized, it's a beautiful shirt and it's a statement piece, but it's just too wide, I can't tuck it in, um, it just doesn't stay tucked in and it just doesn't work tucked in, um, but out it just it, it drowns my top half and then of course again goes down to my wider bottom half so I end up looking sort of shapeless. So what else do I have in shirts? I've got a bunch of shirts here haven't I? This shirt, I love the fabric of this shirt, it is absolutely beautiful. It's quite a vintagey sort of looking fabric, it's really nice, it's a cotton, woven cotton, really lovely. I love the neckline on it. I actually made this from one of those, I think it was a Butterick retro pattern but of course as I know I have made this mistake again and again and again and I, every time I swear I am not going to make this mistake again I make the pattern and the pattern doesn't fit me so the shoulders are too big it's too short it doesn't tuck in so it comes out and it's wide and boxy so again I don't get the definition on my waist that I need I keep trying to think about how I could make it work but I've decided no there's too many things wrong with it I'm going to give it away and hopefully somebody else will have good use out of it. This next one uh, is a Gap, it's a Gap shirt, it's my size, it fits beautifully on the shoulders, the tartan is good, that's my sort of fabric design, I like the colour, but what's wrong with this? The collar is too big so it makes my small head look even smaller and it has sort of slightly western, you know like sort of cowboys and Indians western vibes. I think it's the white buttons that do that and that's just not my style. So that's going to go to this next shirt. Again technically should be my vibe, it's a striped shirt and I do like stripes. It's blue, that's one of my colours. The fit is good, it's a nice quality shirt, it's witchery, it's my size, but the the stripe is just too big a stripe for my small upper body and my small head and I just feel overwhelmed by the pattern. So that's that's the only problem with it but every time I put it on I take it off. And then we're into the skirts. So this skirt I absolutely adore, I have worn many times, I like it. It's my own design, it's got a beautiful, I don't know if you can see the fabric but it's sort of slightly, it's a bit sheer and it's got little light blue turquoise dots on it. It's absolutely lovely, it's really flattering on my figure but this is one of the ones that I've had for many years and it's a bit too small now, it's a bit too snug around the waist and I know that I am not going to lose the weight to get into this. I have this pattern still up in my pattern stash, I have plenty of fabric and I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger and this one can go on to somebody else. This is another me made, so this is actually a slip. 
I made this slip. It's, it's a sort of a rustly sort of fabric. I made this slip particularly to go under a wrap skirt. It was a pinstripe suit skirt. And when I went to the office, when you sit down and the, the wrap skirt opens up, it was just giving a bit too much information. So I made this um, slip to go underneath that suit skirt so that when it fell apart, when I sat down, you didn't see all of my legs, you just saw this slip. It worked quite well for that purpose, but of course, I don't wear the wrap skirt, it's a suit skirt. Uh, and I don't work in an office anymore, so it doesn't have a purpose anymore, and I'm just really not using it for anything else, so this is going to. So this skirt um, I got secondhand. It was actually a skirt that my daughter got from a recycle boutique, I believe. She wore it for a little while, and then she gave it to me because she wasn't getting on with it. I've worn it for a little while, but again, I'm not getting on with it. It's a Karen Walker design, so that's a New Zealand designer. The big problem with this skirt is it has exposed zips, which is nice, but it has like a zip off bottom zip. The problem with this is that it sticks into your legs. When you sit down, it's quite uncomfortable and sticks into your legs. And the gathering from the waist is just not that flattering on us. So every time I put this on, it's okay, but it's not it doesn't bring me massive joy. I suppose. I love the colour, but again, it's a bit too much colour. It's a bit too much yellow on my lower half. As you will know if you've seen my proportion video, I prefer to accentuate my upper half and leave my lower half a little bit more in the background, shall we say. So having a bright yellow skirt on the bottom half really accentuates that just a little bit too much. So it's just, I suppose it's just not earning its keep. It's not earning its space in my wardrobe for the amount of times I wear it. So this again is going to go. I also have a few accessories that I'm taking to the Recycle Boutique as well. This is a beautiful vintage bag. It's leather. It's really nice. It's sort of retro. It's got a lovely clip. It's got a little matching purse. I mean, a gorgeous little matching purse as well. It's beautiful. The bag is made in England. The leather is Australian. It's really beautiful. There's not a mark on it. I got it from a charity shop, so I probably paid less than $10 for it, I would imagine. And I loved it. When I bought it, I thought, oh, this is amazing, but I don't wear it. And why don't I wear it? Because it's got gold hardware. And all of my jewelry and everything that I have is silver. I wear silver over gold and I wear white over cream. And so this gold hardware just doesn't go with anything that I have. And so I don't use it. Beautiful bag, but I'm going to take it to the Recycle Boutique. But again, I think somebody else will really enjoy this bag. This bag as well. It is really, really gorgeous. It has a beautiful detail. It's leather. It has lovely buckles. Uh, as you can see, it's got these little buckles so you can ex change the length of the straps. It's a really beautiful leather bag. It's the same on the back. But I have about four brown leather bags in my wardrobe. I have a small one which I was wearing when I went uh, traveling into Europe. I have a normal brown leather bag which I use in the summer every day. I have another brown leather bag which is a really beautiful vintage style sort of clasp at the top sort of bag. It's got structure, it's, it's really properly vintage and it's gorgeous. And that comes with a matching purse as well. So I have that brown leather bag and I also have a brown leather bag. It's like an A4 portfolio sort of bag as well. So I have all of those sort of bags that do different work in my wardrobe. And this is just another brown bag. I originally got it from the Recycle Boutique because I really loved it and I thought, oh, it's so gorgeous. But I made that mistake where I bought it because I thought it was just really nice. I didn't actually say, do I need another brown leather bag? And of course I don't use it because all my brown leather bag niches in my wardrobe are already quite happily satisfied. So I don't need this one and it's just taking up space. So I'm going to take it back to the Recycle Boutique so somebody else can enjoy it. Oh, shoes. I'm also taking some shoes. I haven't modeled these. Hang on, let me get the shoes. So there are two pairs of shoes that I'm taking to the Recycle Boutique. This pair is a pair from when I used to work in an office. It's got a sort of a flat heel. It was a really good sort of shoe uh, to wear under sort of black trousers. Uh, it's got a sort of a, an andro androgynous vibe, which I quite like. This silver stripe across it is quite cool. It's just not something that I would wear now. I don't, uh, yeah, I've got shoes that I find more comfortable and more functional than this. And the other pair, 
are these ones. These ones I got from a charity shop. They were red shoes and I thought, oh, they're fun. They'd be really cool. They'd be comfortable. And they are. They're fun and they're comfortable and they're red. And I like red shoes and very difficult to find red shoes in my size. But they're just a bit too hobbity for me. Every time I put them on, I just feel, yeah, like a bit hobbity. And that isn't my style. That isn't my vibe. But it just isn't, yeah. Hobbity doesn't feature anywhere in my style story. So they're going as well. I hope that's been of interest to you. Just showing you what is not working in my wardrobe. Because I've done a whole range of videos of what does work in my wardrobe. What is my style? What is my proportion? What is my color? What, you know, what's my style story? All of those types of things. But part of that is also learning from what doesn't work in your wardrobe. And I think I've mentioned this in a few of my videos. So that means I take things out of my wardrobe that aren't aren't earning their space, aren't earning their coat hanger, shall we say. <laughs> if something doesn't earn its coat hanger, then it needs to leave so that I can bring something else in that will earn its coat hanger. I just thought I'd pop in, this is editing me. <laughs> I just thought I'd pop in because when I went to the recycle boutique to drop off those clothes, I actually found a gorgeous little jacket, which I'm very excited about. I got it for $37. It's an anthropology jacket. Uh, called cartonniere or something it's beautiful i don't know if you can see it's a black watch tartan it's got a fabulously beautiful lining it's a little short line jacket nice little collar fits beautifully on the shoulders even the sleeves are the right length it's an absolute miracle so very excited about my new purchase and for 37 dollars you can't complain really can you I am now starting the makes for my winter wardrobe. So yeah, follow along with these videos. Um, I think the next video we'll be doing will actually be a bit of a sort of a fabric stash tour because of course what I've found is that as I'm making my wardrobe, I'm trying to make that wardrobe using my stash predominantly. So I need to know what I have in my stash and I need to know how much fabric I have in each of those pieces of fabric. So that's probably gonna be the next video is actually what I have in my stash. If this type of thing interests you, hit the subscribe button and then you'll, oh, and the bell of course, and then you'll be alerted to all of my new videos as they come up. Anyway, I will say goodbye and see you next time. Bye.